everyone. My name is Leon Pereira. I was born in Texas, but grew up in Sri Lanka. I like science, biology, and geology. And I'm drawing, today I'm drawing human organs. Let's start now. Right now, we're, right now we're going, right now we're going to the brain. What is the highway of your nervous system? The brain has lots of functions. The spinal cord, the patinal gland that produces melatonin. So you wake up at daytime and nighttime. Here's the eyes. The optical nerve and here the blood vessels leading from the heart into the brain here's here's your head Mouth, here are you, here are your adult teeth. Your two adult front teeth come out when you're seven and six. The other ones come out when you're eight, nine, and ten. And, he, and teeth need blood too. Blood vessels feed every single body part except the cornea. And, and this part is called the jaw. The jaw, the jaw chews food. The front teeth chomp and cut the sharp teeth between stab and rip. And these ones mash and chew. And the corn, this is the cornea. This part of your eye. Here's the eye, here's the cornea, the lens, the iris surrounding. The retina, the optical nerve that leads to the brain over here. Then we go down. And here's the throat. The throat. The stomach, the stomach and the stomach and lungs share the same tube. Lung, lung. Here's a, here's the separation tube, and here's the this muscle. This muscle separates. This muscle separates food from getting into your getting into your lungs. Here's some of the esophagus. Here's the heart. So the veins. X and X and X-rays show the lungs black, like like this. In X-ray, she they show the lungs black. Like that. And also, 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 when you smoke, 
that gets addictive. Smoking is addictive. Smoking causes your lungs to turn to turn to turn from a healthy lung like this to this. It destroys the cells that causes cancer to form. Cancer might take up this much of it or or this much of it. It will happen any part of the body. The skin, the eyes, the brain, but not the teeth. The teeth will just get cavities. And then you'll have, and, and cancer could grow in the lungs, heart, diaphragm, the esophagus, trachea, head, the nerves, spinal cord, cerebellum, stomach, gallbladder, pancreas, liver, anywhere. And here's a fact about the liver. The liver has over 500 functions. And now we go to the small intestine. It's a long coiled tube. Curves, points, dead ends, and other places. And it's all curved like this. It's all curved and tangled like this. So the food will take long enough for the small intestine to get all the nutrients out. Here's the surface of the small intestine. Intestine. Here's the small intestine tube. And these are villi. They suck out the nutrients from the food that you eat. But if you swallow gum, people, here's a myth about gum. Gum stays seven years in your stomach. That's not true. It will, it will just take a normal two days, like any other food. But there's, but in gum, but in gum, but in gum, there's no nutrients, just the flavoring. Then they don't. Then the villi don't absorb anything, and the. And it just goes all the way to the large intestine to go out. And now we go to the blood vessels. The blood vessels soak up the nutrients. They go to each villi. Villi are pretty microscopic. So that means there's a whole lot of them, like millions of billions of cajillions like that. Because the large, because the small intestine stretches for a long time. The small intestine is about three and a half buses long. And here's the large intestine. This is the final stop of your digestive system. Then then the food then the food's water gets absorbed into the into the blood vessels of the large intestine. The large intestine is about the large intestine is about the length of this table, about the length of this table, but double it two times. And we have the spleen, it's pretty useless, but in South Asia, Southeast Asia, their spleen is about two times bigger. Now we go to the skeletal system. The skeletal system contains the skull, the bones, the ribs, pelvis, and other places like the femur. Let's start with the head. It's called the skull. Here's the mandible. And here's the cranium.
this is this is this is where the top teeth grow like over here boom and here's a neck bone here's the shoulder plate the shoulder blade there's about two of them rib 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 you have a lot of ribs And this is a bone that collects all the ribs. That's that's not the strongest bone. No. The strongest bone is downer. The pelvis. An evolutionary old tail. People say that it's kind of useful. It helps you when you sit, but it's not that useful. It will soon disappear in the future. And here's the strongest bone in your body. The femur. And there's a rare disease called pasta bones. It's when your bones... It's when your bones are so soft they can break they can break at the lightest touch. All bones are really strong because of calcium in milk. And And sometimes there's not enough calcium. Then, then your bones did don't get enough. So they so they are like pieces sticks of pasta. They're like sticks of pasta. Here's a foot bone. These look like rocks, but they are not rocks. They are the foot plates and and it the reason your toes can grab pens is because it's because it's because our old ancestors when they got chased by predators, they can use they can use their feet to climb onto trees, like the today apes. So about today's human body. Thanks for watching.